First tonight at 10, Jackson County is facing a significant increase in property values this year, and it has people worried about how much they'll end up owing in taxes. So we first told you about the increase last week when the director of assessment estimated a 30% increase. We're all happy in our homes. We're, I feel like we're getting pushed out. You've got to be ready for this. You can't wait. Well, if you remember in 2019, Jackson County's property values rose 70% higher than any other county in Missouri. More than 15,000 homeowners appealed. This time, the assessor's office is preparing to help people appeal. So tonight we are going in depth to show you the impacts on homeowners, a new bill hoping to cap these assessments, and a resource for homeowners happening this week. KSHB 41's Megan Abundus takes us inside the issue. Since 2019, we've seen a pandemic, inflation, rent increases, higher grocery prices. Next month, property assessment values will be mailed out. A 30% average property value increase would be the largest in Jackson County history. Many people ask, what damage could a large tax increase do? That's going to hit us hard. We talked I mean, with Jess the, Buck two years ago. I feel like we're getting pushed out. When his Jackson County property taxes took a sharp turn. I've been here 12 years now, and it's like the thing that's kind of burying me is is taxes. Now another potential increase. I would just have to work harder and have less. In 2019, data analyst Preston Smith forecasted this year's large increase in property values. So to have a large tax increase now is going to hurt people so much worse than it did in 2019. Uh, my concern is we're going to see bankruptcies or foreclosures. And we know if you don't pay those county tax bills, they will take your house. The county says they'll stay transparent through the process with public meetings. I think they assume that if property values go up, that that automatically means that their taxes are going to go up. But it is actually the taxing jurisdictions that set that tax rate. But Smith believes this is an issue only to Jackson County. The voters have a say in how those levies will be set. Uh, this is clearly a plan or orchestrated by Jackson County. The county published they expect 60,000 total appeals this year. That would be three times the number of appeals we had in 2019. In 2019, there were three areas of the county that really did see, not see substantial increases. That was Independence, Lee Summit, and Blue Springs. Most of those people saw the 14.9% increase. And I believe those areas in particular are going to be targeted this time for increases larger than 30%. Meanwhile, Buck is waiting to see the changes from the last tax increase. I'm not going to lose my house, uh, but some people might. Um, personally, I'm looking at having a lot less or nothing to save for when I'm older. You've got to be ready for this. You can't wait. Here's what he says you can do now. Schedule your own home appraisal. Smith says while it isn't cheap, it is like insurance or go in with your neighbors, hire an appraiser together. Take pictures of damage in your home and get contractor evaluations of what it will take to fix it. Smith's been working to pass a Missouri bill that caps assessment increases at 4% each. Also, when people are 65 and older, it would freeze your assessment so it could never be increased. Tomorrow, it heads to a House floor vote. If passed, it could be put on the ballot in November, impacting the 2025 assessment value. I'm Megan Abundas. Back to you.